Hey, whoops, I got that rig so you can see my rig. Hey there, everyone. It is Sharon Haver from FocusOnStyle.com, and I want to welcome you to this little impromptu Facebook Live. What I'm going to try to do at the same time is see if I can find you on my page so I can read the co comments that way. How's that sound? I never, ah, oh, there I am, there I am, there I am. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, so I'm here on this Friday afternoon. It's kind of rainy and sort of yicky here today. And it's been a funny day. We were supposed to shoot some video and we decided that the light wasn't working right and we were going to be doing a few other things. And I ended up just doing a um, podcast interview with someone for, for my new podcast series, Seven Days to Amazing, that you'll be hearing about soon. And I ended up working um, on a few other videos for our fast little video series that you'll be finding out soon about. And I was interviewed for a video summit, which was really interesting. So I figured while I have my makeup on, I will go and um, say hi to you guys. But what I want to do now is I also want to share it with my insiders group, which is a place that you probably should be. I have a group called Focus on Style Insiders, and it is the place to be to get connected to me, to get back and forth and information, hang out with your friends. So I thought that would be cool right there. Uh, did it share? I don't even know. I just got this weirdest thing. So anyway, it's part of it's the Focus on Cell Insiders Club. And it also comes right now with a free course that I'm doing called the Style Incubator. So if you go to the styleincubator.com, not only will you be getting access to my insiders private club, but you will also be receiving my new course for free. So like that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? I don't know what would be holding you back why someone would possibly not want to take a course that helps you build your style from the ground up when it doesn't cost anything. So I thought that right now what we would do is have a little chat and um, I know it's kind of a crazy time. It's four o'clock in New York and on a Friday afternoon where most people end up like packing up right now and run away for the weekend and I'm, I'm still here working until I go and pick up my new eyeglasses. And I thought we would kind of pop in and, and go over a few things. As I was talking to someone, um, I think it was yesterday, in one of my Get Style calls. And I also was talking to someone else who's a private client who's very new to it, to me as a private client, as a VIP client. And both women had a similar problem. And they didn't know where to start. They were kind of confused and thinking like, if I'm going to this event and I get a new dress, what dress should I wear? And if I go out to dinner with my husband, where do I get, what, what, what do I wear and what, what do I do? In the meantime, you look at them and their image was so discombobulated from the person they thought they wanted to be to, to what they actually look like. I mean, one woman was just so done up in her Facebook photo that she had so many mixed signals, you didn't even know what was going on with her. It was just kind of like overdone and crazy and kooky. And she was sort of buried in all this stuff. And her real live interaction was wearing this like freebie t-shirt and her hair was pulled back. And there was, there was no connection that this was the same human being. And I had a very similar thing with someone else. And Part of it is when you don't know where to start and when you can't see what's so off in your business, in your life, in your home, you need to sort of open your eyes and get inspired and suck it all in. Suck in your atmosphere of where you work furniture, design, architecture, landscape, color, flowers, the way you have the food presented on your plate. Everything, everything comes together and should inspire you. And when you cut yourself off from seeing the nuances of everything that's going on, what happens is you put blinders on yourself. You don't see anything. So 
as you start to get inspired, and inspiration is free, living a life with your eyes wide open is totally free and full of joy and full of fun, you'll start noticing that there are most definitely, without a doubt, there are threads of things that you are attracted to. So if you look at me you, right now, you'll see like you're, I'm in a spot. This is the actually the other side of my office. This is kind of what I face most of the day. And I love, I don't know how much you can see. Can you put, I put it that way a little bit? So I, I love sculptural furniture. I love sculptural shapes. It makes, pleases me. You can see my little studio right over there, right? And so, and also you see that I have the big brick column. So I have this huge brick column. We have lots of beams in here. It's an open space loft. So the idea of big sculptural shapes is something that's pleasing to me. And it's art to me. Furniture is art. Vases are art. Paintings are art. And that same thread of things that I'm attracted to in big, bold, solid colors. Today, it, uh, it's even in my, my jewelry. And then if you look at my Focus on Style brand logo, you'll see that there is a big eye. It's a big circle. I'm looking to see if I have the logo. Well, here it is on the back of my new book. Here, there's my, my logo. See, you'll see it's a big sculptural solid blob <laughs> shape. And here's the front. This is my book that's coming out soon, guys. Style Word, the book. But you'll even see on my book logo, there's a, there's a continuum in the fonts that I choose for my brand, in the fonts that are pleasing to me. There's certain shapes, there's certain elements that go through a thread in what I'm wearing, in what I live with, in what I see, in what inspires me from my personal being to my business to my lifestyle. There is a connection. And to see this connection, you need to first open your eyes, right? You need to first be aware of it. And without having your life, walk, walking through your life with your eyes wide open, you're going to find yourself in a rut. You're not going to see things. You're only going to see the same old things every day. So if you want to get yourself out of a rut, if you want to develop a more up-leveled, cohesive, polished image, you need to see what you're attracted to, what inspires you, where is the beauty in everything. It, it's not, you know, you could, there, you know, when I was a stylist, sometimes I would have to go and I'd work for a store and it would be an ugly store and I would have to make those clothes look beautiful that you would want to buy them on the photo shoot. So that was my job. So then you go through the store and you prop it and you're like, Oh my God, like this entire department was like hit with the ugly stick. And instead of having the closed mind of like everything here was hit with the ugly stick, you need to realize there's always one thing. There's always one thing somewhere, somehow that will inspire you. And what is that thing? Because there's beauty everywhere. You just need to open your eyes to see it. And that will get you out of your business rut. That will get you out of your personal rut, your branding rut, your style rut, your, the, where you live rut. Everything will come together if you start seeing the nuances, seeing the details, and thinking of a life with style, designing your life with style, and the style that you are attracted to. Not the style that I say, not the style that someone else said you should do, but the style that engages you, that empowers you, that makes you feel happy and joyful, and keeps you from being stuck in a rut. Does that make sense? So I want you to ponder that for a minute, and while I'm here, pondering, pondering these things. I also want to share this because I know, why can't I boost? I don't, oh, I don't want to boost. I want to share. Hold on. So I'm on my computer. So right now, you know that since I was so rigged, <laughs> totally, totally, totally rigged today, I have all sorts of, whoops, uh, no, I have all sorts of wires coming out of me that you can't even imagine. Share on my timeline. Is that my timeline? I guess so. Okay. Whoop. 
Okay. So now we should have everyone here in all points of Facebook. So I am so rigged. I'm hooked up with a microphone. I have cameras over there. I have was doing a webcam video today. I was trying things with my iPad, but man, I got to tell you, like iPad really gives some janky, janky lighting to things. And I have, um, just so you know what I have around me to kind of to look a little bright. I have a soft box light there. I have a soft box light over there on my background. I have a one of our torch lights facing behind me that way, and I think that's about it. And if all is in doubt, I have a bounce board, which I didn't need because you always want to reflect light back on your face. So that said, that's my kind of little janky studio for today. But going back to what will keep you out of a rut, it's just, it's keeping your eyes open, being able to engage with the beauty of life, with the beauty of design, of traveling, of what inspires you, going to a museum when you feel really blue. I mean, sometimes for me, this seems so basic. And maybe it's because I was just raised as a New Yorker where we can go out to whatever we want to do. But I also have a place in Wyoming, which is much more limited you know and there when I need inspiration I look at the mountains behind me I look at the trees I look at a leaf I look at the wildlife you know so it's like wherever you are saying you can't find beauty is an excuse you know and I, I so many women I talk to and they say oh well I just wish one day I can go to Paris I, my life would be so different if I can go to Paris I am so jealous if I can go to Paris it's like Bring Paris to you. Read magazines. Look at French art. Look at culture. Look at the thread that makes it so beautiful. Is it having lovely architecture? Is it being able to understand your body, the shape that you are to dress in a way that gives you the conf confidence to look so sweet and have so much cachet like a French woman would or like a Parisian would? And people say, oh, I can't wait to go to New York. It's such a big city. Well, maybe like... See what, what happens in a big city. In a big city, it's a melting pot. There's all sorts of different things. There's not one rule. There's not another rule. Everybody all comes together, design, style. We have new glass buildings. We have old buildings with beautiful architecture. We have tenement buildings. We have skyscrapers. We have everything, and it all comes together as one. So instead of wishing I would have, I could have, I can't wait until I go somewhere, just where are you today? Like, make the most out of where you are today in your life, wherever that is. And don't hold yourself back. Don't restrict yourself by saying, I can't do this. I can't see it. The one way you can up-level your style, the one way you can find more joy in your life is to keep open your eyes and being aware of what is going on and being aware of what pleases you and then you will somehow develop the attraction to go that way to see what pleases you to see what you like what your style is and then you'll find your home your business your brand your personal image it all starts coming together because you can't separate these things it's not a matter of what dress do I wear what dress does it matter if you have like horrible makeup on does it matter what dress you're wearing when you're sitting in a, a, a most uninspiring home and it looks like the old set of Ro the Roseanne show with khaki couches you know that can you say that you are this big business coach when your site looks like 1998 hard-coded html and like that you got the theme and you know out of a template back then I mean it all needs to be you and the only way you can find you and the only way you can get out of your style rut is to open your eyes and get inspired so I hope that inspires you for today I want to see is anyone on live are we getting any comments here now hi there Hi, hi, hi. I can put my glasses on and see exactly who's here. But let me see what this is all about. And if not, I know all of you, hey there, Naveed, I know all of you will um, be able to watch this in the replay. And I hope you really think about this. And I, I, I will try to make announcements when I come on Facebook Live in the future. But, you know, kind of, when I decided to work for myself, which is going back to like 30 years, I decided I kind of want to do things my way. And that means if it moves me to be on Facebook, hey, 
hit move speed of me at Facebook Live. You'll catch me on the replay, and you can ask me all the questions below too, and I'll pop back in. So that's what I also want for your life too. I want you to understand that you need to do things that please you. You need to be able to live in a world where you could do what inspires you. So simple. And if you need a little extra push from me, as I said at the start of this live stream, I have something really special going on right now. I will put the link below. And that is if you go to www.thestyleincubator.com, www.thestyleincubator, like where you put a baby, dot com, you will be able to get access to my brand new private Facebook Insiders Club, where you'll be able to interact with me on a regular basis. And you will also be able to get free access to my new course, The Style Incubator, which will help you build your style from the foundation up. So I hope to see you in The Style Incubator. I hope to see you in The Insiders Club. And I hope to see you guys here wherever you are. But I also want you to please let me know, like, what inspires you? You know, totally what inspires you every day? Where do you get your pleasure from? And if you're feeling like you're in a rut, tell me what your action step is going to be to open up your eyes. What are you going to do today? Are you going to go to the museum? Are you going to go see a movie? Are you going to go to a bookstore and flip through some books? Are you going to, like, Look on Instagram. I've created my Instagram feed to look like the best magazine in the world of everything that, in that interests me. And if it's not something that totally interests me, it is not on my Instagram feed. So when I go through it, I just get inspired. It's the perfect inspiration board or on Pinterest as well. But what are you going to do today if you think you're in a rut? I challenge you to tell me, what are you going to do today to get inspired? So I hope I see you at thestyleincubator.com, totally free. And I am going to go walk Mr. Poodle now. So thank you for joining me and let me know what you think on the replay. So Stay tuned. Peace, love, and style. Bye-bye. Okay, off. No, we're still live. I don't know how to turn you off. Now, you're going to see how I have to turn you off. This is going to be really scary. Finish, right? Ah, bingo. Okay. See you.